talk about a tough follow-up to a tough video. Stick around. <laughs> Hello again and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. I'm your host Prince Magnum. Welcome to Surviving Romance. On Surviving Romance, uh, it wasn't too terribly long ago, we did a video um, talking about the death of a woman that was very influential in my life, uh, the death of Tanya. Uh, if, you've not, if you're watching this video and you've not seen the first one, stop right here, go to the video titled Surviving Romance, A Tragic Love Story, and and watch it all the way through. Come on back. We'll wait for you. Oh, you're back. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. First things first. Um, here on the Prince Magnum channel, uh, I did that I, for three years. I've... I would come on camera and I would try to do that story and I, I ended up crying uncontrollably and at that time I had no editing equipment so I just kind of pushed it off to the side. That was in the early days and when I did get the editing equipment, uh, I still couldn't do it. I, I, I would end up having to nearly cut uh, almost 10 minutes of me crying because it's still so hard to do. Um, I'm not even going to talk in this video a great deal about her last days uh, this is just kind of a commentary uh, to that uh, to that video uh, the making of that video um, came about because um, a very wonderful woman within the Maverick Nation and all of, and before I go any further uh, some of you ladies in the Maverick Nation really stand out all of you were very wonderful in, in so many ways. And I, and I want to thank my lady viewers up front for making Surviving Romance one of my favorite series to do. I, I love doing all the series, but Surviving Romance is so much fun because I know you ladies enjoy it so much. Um, I think for some ladies, when they hear that there's a, there's a husband that is willing to go to any lengths to keep his wife happy, I think a lot of, uh, a lot of you ladies out there are like, I didn't know that still existed. And uh, yes, yes, we do exist. Some of us are dead, but we do exist, okay? Um, with all that being said, one of you really shined bright uh, about a few days before that video was done. Um, Miss Natalie, um, a, a wonderful lady within the Maverick Nation, works for a, a you know, a hospice um, care uh, center, um, I believe over in Park Hills, if I remember correctly. And uh, she's, we ended up having a phone conversation because there was a misunderstanding between her and another YouTuber. And we, we talked uh, at uh, great length. And uh, we had a very long, when, uh, you know, it, several hours of conversation. And um, I always love talking to members in the Maverick Nation uh, all of you, I enjoy talking to you. Some of you I get the chance to talk face to face to. This was a phone conversation. And I'm small time enough where I can still do that. And uh, in the conversation we, we, had the, we had this talk and she, she told me I, I needed to do this one. Um, that, that it was a, an, an inspiring story. Tanya's story has inspired many uh, for many years now, and uh, now it's really inspiring. Uh, last time I looked, it was like a hundred and something views, I forget, which uh, is not half bad, you know, because, uh, as I have said, the Prince Magnum channel does operate kind of small. But the story is out there, and uh, there's plenty of people to, uh, to view it now uh, to say that it's a good story. And uh, it's, one of, it's one of my favorite videos. Uh, as a matter of fact, I even have a private playlist uh, specifically, and uh, that's one of the videos that I love to watch. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, 
on top of that, um, I want to I want to say up front um, when I did the video, uh, when I filmed the video, um, I'm going to say right now that um, I had a difficult time. Um, as I said, you know, every time I did it before, I always broke down and cried. That's why I, that's why I narrated it, and I was still getting choked up. Uh, thankfully, uh, and I'm going to thank uh, Big Bad Burt from Burt TV. Uh, he has helped me a great deal with my acting and uh, my on-camera presence. And if it had not been for him, uh, you know, him and I doing our crossovers and things like that, um, I don't believe I would have uh, been able to do that video without, uh, you know, Miss Natalie, you know, kind of, come on, you got to do this. And then Big Bad Bird uh, kind of helping me with my camera presence, even though I wasn't on camera. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, also, uh, since, uh, since we're going to talk about my voice and the narration and things like that, uh, I have to mention uh, the police chief of Bon Terre. He's the one who always tells me that I should be on radio because of my voice. And uh, so... Uh, right now, if you will, those three people were very influential on uh, on the story about Tanya. Um, they were, you know, giving that story to all of you uh, within the Maverick Nation and passer buyers of the Prince Magnum channel. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with that, and uh, I want to thank those people. Uh, otherwise. Uh, that video would have, have never, never made it to YouTube um, if it had not been for those people kind of uh, inspiring me, I guess you could say. You know, so I want to thank uh, Miss Natalie, uh, a wonderful, wonderful uh, staple within the Maverick Nation. I want to thank Big Bad Bert uh, for working with me a little bit and kind of helping me with uh, my camera presence. And uh, the police chief, uh, Doug Calvert of uh, the Bon Terre City PD, uh, for uh, being, you know, being such a supporter and, uh, and uh, you know, I guess you could say uh, kind of kicking me in the butt every now and again to remind me that, uh, that, I, uh, that he believes that I'm very talented. So uh, thank, thank all three of you. Uh, I want to thank all of the Maverick Nation, but you three in particular for helping me uh, do that video. Um, so all that being said, lots of thank yous, you know. <clears throat> Let's talk about something very special. All right. Uh, what was not fully mentioned in uh, the story, the, the original video, uh, there's a lot of speculation still surrounding her story. Number one, uh, to this day, none of us really know what, uh, what actually killed Tanya. We, we don't know. Uh, the, uh, there was like three autopsies done, and all of them are inconclusive. Um, nobody really fully knows. Now, some say it was just her time. I don't buy that. She's 27 years old, perfect bill of health. Okay? Uh, there was a, there's a lot of speculation. A lot of speculation. But we're not going to talk about all that. The big speculation has been since her passing, and uh, many before the video, who I've told in meetings, and uh, since the video, uh, the big speculation has been, you know, around the last week she was alive and um, up to when she had, uh, was in the coma on a Sunday and then at her passing on Monday. That was kind of, you know, there's a, there's a big uh, debate on, on uh, a couple of things since then. Um, and then there's been one since her passing uh, that has kind of come up, all right? Um, so let's let's kick this off with uh, the last week she was alive. Um, which, again, I'm not going to go into the details because I don't feel like crying on camera. Uh, we all know that on a Tuesday uh, before her passing um, that, I, um, that I told her how I felt. Um, I kind of came out and started saying it you know, things like, uh, you know, we all hear about living angels among us. Um, you know, uh, you are a living angel in my eyes. You know, things like that. I mean, I really... I had some, I had some good things to say. You know, and I, I told her, you know, that, 
that I owe my life to her, that, you know, things are turning around, that I can make a difference, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, it, and I owe it all to her, you know, and I was just really, you know, telling her how I felt. And, it, and I will tell everyone that I did want to tell her that I was in love with her, but I was scared to, okay? So I didn't. Now, she at the time she was uh, dating my best friend, and one of the other reasons why I did not, you know, out of respect, you know, out of respect. Um, there's some of you men out there that will understand that. Some of you others will be like, I would have just done it. We'll get to that. Um, you know, now here's where it starts getting kind of funny. Now, we worked in the same nursing home. Her, my best friend, and myself, we all worked in the same nursing home. Again, she was seeing my best friend. The director of nursing at that time turns around after her death and tells me that the Wednesday before her death, the day after I talked to her, they were talking, and the director of nursing uh, for the nursing home that we worked in, uh, she said that Tanya told her that she may have made a mistake going with my best friend. She didn't give any other reasons. That's where it stood. Okay, now, that was Wednesday. By Saturday, she's in the hospital, in ICU. It looked like she was going to get better and was going to be released in a day or two. My best friend is there. I would have come up and seen her, but I had been very, very busy working a lot of overtime. I was single, so I just went to make money. If I wasn't doing that, I was at AA meetings. I stayed busy. You know, or I was over at my sponsors, you know, working hard uh, because I've been given this second release on life. And um, and I wanted to make uh, Tanya proud because, you know, again, I was in love with her. I wanted to make her proud of me. She was the only person outside of AA that I seeked approval of. Because remember, all my other friends had given up on me. So from there, okay... Mind you, um, uh, Tanya tells my best friend, I need to see Magnum. There's something important I want to talk to him about. He says, well, what do you need to see him about? He said, that's for him and I to discuss. Just tell him I need to see him as soon as possible. She also then says, I'm not out of the woods yet. So there's the debate that she knew that she wasn't going to make it. Um, now, we know that Sunday I was going in all dressed up, and I still have the outfit that I was wearing. Um, I'm one of these prima donna kind of guys. I have several levels of, <laughs> of dress. Right now I am not dressed for success. I'm just, I'm all frumpied out because, you know, I've been out and about, and if I get dirty, who cares, you know? I uh, just throw these clothes in a wash. Who cares if they get messed up or whatever, you know? Uh, so I wore kind of a middle of the uh, middle of the ground uh, outfit, as button down dragon T-shirt with, uh, you know, it was black, had white uh, Oriental dragons on it. Still love wearing the shirt every now and again, and I've had it for many years. But I just, you know, wear it when I want to dress up. Nice necklace, and you know, I looked real good and everything. And I was going in with a dozen of roses, and um, that's when I was stopped. So we never had that conversation, so I never got to tell her how I felt. Uh, so there I was, looking like a dummy with a do you know, dozen of roses in hand, uh, all dressed up to tell her how I felt and didn't know what was going on. Um, from there, um, the speculation has been, um, and women mostly, but some men will speculate, that her woman's intuition kicked in, and she knew how I felt. And then there's a lot of uh, a lot of women who hear this story, who say that she, that she was going to say that she felt the same way. We never had that conversation, so it's just merely speculation. We don't know. Um, so that's where we're at with that, you know. But a lot of women speculate this, and some of the men do too. Uh, some of the men say that I think her woman's intuition kicked in. She wanted to see you because she was going to tell you how she felt, but she didn't get there in time. 
blah 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 um you know so that's that's the speculation uh if you're watching this video right now you've seen the first one um again we did pause do we need to pause again so you can go back and review okay all right um if uh if you'd like you're welcome to speculate too you're welcome to speculate um you're welcome to travel back okay um that being said um if you want to speculate you're welcome to leave it in the comments below uh if you live in the u.s or canada and you would like to talk to me directly my email is princemagnum1 at gmail.com shoot me an email and i will then shoot you my phone number provided you live in one of those two countries i'm not capable of doing uh you know international calls yet uh maybe when the channel gets big enough we'll be able to do that and i'll be able to take some calls and we'll do it on camera that'll be awesome but for right now this is the best we can do okay um again leave it in the comments below uh, please no hate, especially on this one, you know. Um, now, real quick, um, I can't remember if I put it at the, mentioned it already, but we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and mention it again why today uh, for the time code uh, for this video, well, today would have been her, guess what, 39th birthday. She was a year older than me, uh, but today would have been her 39th birthday. She did leave behind four beautiful children, and at that time, she was also going through, uh, a divorce and everything and um, you know I would never take away uh, any memories that uh, who would have been her ex-husband and her her children um, because all of them are very wonderful people um, it was just that this was kind of how this this story developed but it never it never came to be and uh, I would never take away from any memories that they had uh, because, you know, again, we're talking, you know, wonderful people. The circumstances warranted that she was going through a divorce. So technically, you know, anything could have happened. Uh, it could have went one way, another way. You know, again, you're all welcome to speculate. Um, you know, that sort of thing. You know, I was fresh out of a relationship. She was uh, coming out of one, um, seeing somebody else, having, you know, debate, debate, debate. So there you have it. Again, I want to thank um, again Miss Natalie uh, for helping me with the the video, uh, the first video. Again, I want to thank uh, Big Bad Bird for uh, kind of work. You know, even though we, you know, the crossovers that we have done kind of prepared me for what was yet to come. And again, I want to thank uh, Police Chief Doug Calvert of the Bonterre City uh, PD uh, for uh, kind of, you know, you know, being just a supporter. Uh, continually telling me every time I see him uh, that that I am a talented person to keep going forward so I want to thank him uh, from the bottom of my heart um, you know and real quick uh, before I forget um, because you know this is like take three for this video um, another speculation is it relates to my wife Princess Faye Rue now None of the guys speculate this. It's all the ladies that do this. And so everyone's welcome to speculate this one. She hates it, but it's just the way it is. Um, many will say that, uh, that Tanya reached down and tapped Princess Faye and pointed her in my direction um, to take care of me. That's the debate there. She hates that debate, but we, you know, well, she'll see the video eventually. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're all welcome to speculate that as well. Um, she's kind of gotten used to it, but she still doesn't like it. But shoot, go ahead. I give her crap all the time. That's what husbands do, you know. I'm not perfect, <laughs> you know. So you all are welcome to speculate that as well. Um, I'm sure she'll leave a comment or two about that, you know, but... Uh, to some small degree, I honestly believe it myself that maybe maybe uh, Princess Faye was tapped on the shoulder by by Tanya and said, "Go take care of him for me," you know. And uh, of course, we fell in love. 
Uh, been you know been a wild ride ever since then. We've had our ups and our downs, and we've had our all arounds, you know. But um, I'm grateful that I have the wife that I do, and uh, I guess you could say uh, Tanya not only left a, a lasting legacy on my life, but uh, she continues to have a lasting legacy on many others, even after her death. So there you have it. Um, if you like this video, please, you know, again, leave a like. Um, <coughs> leave a comment below if you'd like to speculate. Um, if you live in the U.S. or Canada, again, shoot me an email, princemagnum1 at gmail.com. I will put it up there in, uh, as a subtitle so you guys have it. Um, and uh, we might even get it, hopefully we can get a chance to uh, talk on the phone. Um, again, if you live in the U.S. or Canada. Um, if you're not subscribed to the Prince Magnum channel, please do so at this time. Uh, we've got some really cool videos coming up. Um, I've, we've got some stuff that we're getting ready to do to Project Lena. Project Spirit's getting ready to hit the shop and have her, her original timing chain replaced. Her 43-year-old timing chain is finally getting replaced. That's why she's not had any videos. We've had a heck of a time with that. And we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Um, and uh, if you're real savvy, if you're a real savvy YouTube, uh, you know, YouTube watcher, you're going to hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a brand new video uh, right here on the Prince Magnum channel. And, um, you know, as usual, um, get out there and work on a project. Okay? Just, <coughs> dang it, I need to quit smoking. Anyhow, get out there and work on a project. I don't care what it is. Just do something with yourself. If you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet and do me a big favor. If you love them, please tell them today because you may not know. They may not be there tomorrow. And as always, if nobody has told any of you out there that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24. Thank you.